So because your weekly project involves you needing to match up situations with graphs, after watching the first video, which I hope you did, that kind of explains how to interpret a distance time graph, here are a couple of examples of problems similar to that um, where we've got the situation and we've got the graphs to see whether or not we can match them up. So I am looking at the first situation right here. A motorbike travels away from home at a steady speed. Now, I can pretty much eliminate this first one or the second one in the middle, I feel like, because my distance from start is going up, but then coming back down. And this situation doesn't say anything about coming back home after you've gone out. So I'm going to scratch out that one. It would be awfully tempting to pick this one right here because this flat line seems to look like you're traveling at a constant speed. But remember from our previous video, that is not what this means because your distance right here isn't getting any bigger. Your distance is staying the same, which means even though time is moving on, your distance isn't changing. So if I am traveling away from home at a steady speed, I am not just sitting in the same place. So it can't be that one, which means the only option has to be this guy right here. Remember the fact that this is linear? also shows me that it is traveling at steady, could be another word for constant speed. So I would match up the first situation with the third graph. Let me erase all my doodles over here. Match up the other two and change my ink. Okay, so our second example, a car remains parked in a car park. Well, if the car is parked, it's not going anywhere. So that is going to be a perfect match for this one right here because, again, our distance is not changing. It is standing still. So that flat line means that it's staying in the same place. So that is the graph that matches that one, which means, of course, that our final graph, has, our final situation has to represent the one in the middle, but let's make sure we understand why. So a runner runs at a steady pace, turns around, and then runs back at the same speed. So you can see here the fact that this first segment is a straight line that goes along with the steady pace. He is traveling at a steady or constant pace, and his distance from the start is going away, but then he's turning around and coming back. His distance from the start is actually getting smaller. So that jives perfectly with the fact that he's turning around and the fact that the bottom part, or I'm sorry, well, I guess I'm really I should say the second part, not really the bottom. The second portion of the line is at the same, it is also linear, which helps me to see that he is constantly traveling the same speed back.